the donor DNA has an IS-10 element or insertion sequence 10 element. This IS-10 codes for transposes. In both sides of IS-10, inverted repeats are present. The transposes cleaves both strands of donor DNA. As a result, the IS-10 element is excised from the donor DNA. Also as a result, blunt-ended cuts are produced in the donor DNA. The target DNA has 9 base pair target site. The transposes also cleaves both strands of target DNA. As a result, staggered cuts are produced in the target DNA. The two staggered cuts are 9 base pair apart. These are the unpaired bases in the staggered cut DNA. These are the staggered sites in the target DNA. Now the excised IS-10 element then moves towards the staggered sites in the target DNA. The three prime ends of excised IS-10 element is then ligated to the staggered sites in the target DNA by the action of transposes. Due to this ligation, in single-stranded DNA of the intermediate, nine base pair gaps are left. The cellular DNA polymerase then fills the nine base pair gaps in the single-stranded DNA of the intermediate. The DNA polymerase cannot form phosphodiester bonds between 3' prime end of extended target strands and 5' prime ends of IS-10 element. So, two gaps are produced. The cellular ligase then form these phosphodiester bonds. As a result, the gaps are filled. As a result, the target site sequence on each side of inserted IS-10 element is duplicated forming 9 base pair target site direct repeats. Please like, subscribe and share.